Yeah. Yo, this is W Soul 13 bringing you Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're gonna be looking at um, my new Hyper Doom Tower. Uh, we're at floor 70 right now on Nether Spider, right? So, seven minutes to finish. I honestly don't care about any of that. I just want to finish it. And um, the team is Drekstar, Blood Twin. And then a Fusion Champ, Iron Brago, Doom Priest, Sill of the Drakes, and Melga Steel, Girl, Steel Girdle. Basically, the only win con here is Drex, Brago, and Sill gets us through the waves. Doom Priest and Melga and Sill kind of preserves us through the boss fight, right? The sustain. We're going to take a look at their stats right now, and then I'm also going to look at, uh, you know what, actually, before we look at the stats, um, let's take a look at my pushing team. So this is my wave clear team. All done. Are you all done? Yes, now it's a lot baby. Ah, man. All right. Okay, good girl. Then fold the paper again. So... Um, this is my wave clearing team right here. It's Drexar as the lead. So I can get the plus 70 accuracy aura. And then um, Burgum Car as a shield champ slash um, buff removal. Right? And also anti provoke if provokes come up. And then Sill of the Drakes. Everybody knows what Sill does. Yeah, right? she's amazing. Vizix. And Iron Brago, right? Fusion Champ Iron Brago provokes extra defense, um, lots of damage, of course, from Brago. Um, really, what makes this team uh, different compared to my older pushing teams is Drekstar, Sil, and Visix are all six stars, and I think fully booked. I think I fully booked all of them. So we're going to take a look right now at their stats. All right, so you understand how the team works. Lots of control. Lots of sustain. So check this out. We're going to take a look at their stats right now. Starting with my boy Drex. Oh, my baby's crying. Baby. It's okay. Kala si mam na, kala si mami na tubig, okay? Go eat your food. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay, she kiss her. It's okay. It's okay. Here. Have some. No, no. Here, have some food. Yeah, kain, kain, kain. Hi, this is Mimi. Bye, bye. Amazing children having dinner. So check this out. Um, the drag star is in immortal gear, right? Hey, it's okay, girl. Calm down. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, here. Hi, good girl. Very good girl. It's okay. So check this out, right? I got him on. Regen and Immortal Gear, and also on 250 Accuracy, so I just kind of peeled off as much accuracy as I could. Oh, it's okay, baby, you're doing great. I just tried to peel off as much accuracy I could from my main set so I can get the death up, right? So, you want high defense, high HP, and 250 Accuracy. Uh, along with Drexar's plus 70 accuracy will get you clear over 300 which is where you want to be is over 300 with all your champs that needs to put debuffs on the other guy is Iron Brago he's in lifesteal set uh, and you're looking at 4800 death 33,000 HP the HP could go up a little bit more uh, but I have him dealing damage so 100% Crit rate with 200% crit damage along with um, 230 um, accuracy. 
And I think I have him on crit damage neck, death banner, death ring, and then um, perception and life steal set. So he's actually a clan boss champ for me. That's why his speed is so low. I'm not quite worried about his speed, you know, because I, I use him more for clan boss. So that's, that's why his stats are set up that way. But he doubles as a wave clear champ, right? Because he's got provoke. Here's the other one, Virgum Car. So Virgum Car, 194 speed. Uh, accuracy is a little low, 191. You get, I could probably have that a little bit higher. But he's my shield champ. I got him on shield set. Um, uh, decent HP, not great, 62,000. I could probably get that bumped up a little bit higher to maybe like 80,000 would be great. Um, 2600 death, you know. And I think I have him on HP banner. Oh, he's, he's got some refresh accessories on just to get those skills back. So in case, I'm sure you guys are familiar with all the champs, maybe except Virgum Car. So let's take a quick look at what he does. He takes off Provoke from your whole team if he gets a turn and he gets the skill put on, right? Three turn cooldown, takes off Provoke on your whole team, plus shield. And I think another random debuff, right? Uh, also plays a shield and one random debuff, right? So it's he's kind of a pseudo cleanse. He's pretty good. And then he is immune to provoke. And every time an enemy tries to put a provoke on Bergam Car, um, you you are immune to it and you get a twenty percent turn meter boost, right? And then this is the other money skill he has, which is a um, buff remover, two random buffs. And then he puts on heal reduction and decrease defense. So yeah, kind of doubles as a decrease defense chance. A lot, a lot of the um, waves have a um, buff kind of buff centric champs, right? And then we're gonna take a look at so Drekstar really is. So this is kind of the new the end game F2P Trinity, right? So the end game F2P Trinity is still Vizix and Drexar, right? So Arbiter is not on the list because you can get this team without having finished Arbiter, theoretically. So it takes you nine months to get the team together because Vizix is the nine month login, login bonus. But at the same time, you don't have to finish the Arbiter missions to get this team, right? Drexar is doable without Arbiter and also Vizix and Sil are login champs. So yeah. We all know why Visix is good, right? They made her a lot more powerful with all the buffs. So we're just here to take a look at the stats. I have her on stun set. She's on 3,500 health, uh, 53,000 HP. And, uh, and uh, 250 accuracy, right? So all my champs are kind of geared to where uh, Drexar could really boost them with his... Um, accuracy aura in Doom Tower or any other content I put them in. Uh, it's the same thing with Sill of the Drakes, although I think I do have her on accuracy banner. Yep, I do. Yeah. But um, yeah, I got Sill on Relentless set, so I think that's probably why I had to put her on accuracy banner. So she's got great defense, 4,000, uh, 55,000 health, which is also great. Um, speed is pretty good, 200 speed, and then um, 281 accuracy. So the stats really aren't, you know, aren't amazing, but they're good. They're really, they're good enough to get me through the waves, right? So I haven't encountered a dead end yet. I'll be updating until I encounter a dead end. Then I'll have to figure it out from there, all right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow, or I'll probably do um, 71 to 80, all right? Thanks.